Today I'm working on a 2005 Dodge Caravan, the 3.8. Um, this guy's complaining because he says he um, he drives a car and the speedo don't want to work. And it goes into limp mode, second gear. It's also got a check engine light. Um, I looked at the codes, the transmission sensor says it's pulling a PO720 output sense output speed sensor circuit. That's going to be an output sensor. There's no sense in diagnosing this because um, everything works right now. We drove it here and says, oh, there wasn't a problem. Yeah, if you look at here, that right there, that connector right there, that's your input shaft sensor. And then this one over here, right there, that guy, if you can see it. That's your output speed sensor. Ooh, there we go. Oh, I got some light. That right there. That's your output. Um, yeah, you can get it these real easy. Right through here. There it is right there. You just turn the tire to the side and you can get at this one from the ground. Um, both of them sensors are the same. That's kind of why I pointed them out. Your output speed sensor, it, it, it reads the speed of your output shaft on your transmission. So it'll uh, make your speedometer work. Um, you go, this is actually my trans, my, I, this is a transmission code. So you might not ever see this one. If you go global, if you go to a parts store and have them pull codes or something. Um, yeah, here's global right here. He's got two codes. He's got an EGR code too, a P0404. But uh, your P0700, that's a generic transmission code. So if you got a P0700, that could mean a lot of things. The only way to find the real code is if you go into your transmission module and a generic OBD2 reader or your regular parts stores, they're not going to be able to find that code for you, the PO720. It'll just show up PO700 and that could mean just about anything. But if that's what you're getting and you got a, a if, if you have a speedometer problem, it's probably going to be that output sensor and it's probably going to have a PO700. PO 720 in it too. Okay, I guess I'll be needing a zip tie for this job. That one's kind of in my way. So I'm just cutting that out. Move that out of the way. There it is right there. Unplug that sensor. Looks like I'll be using a one inch wrench or a 25 millimeter. It is plastic, so it takes almost no torque to get this thing off and put it back in. So don't over tighten it. You just want to get it snug. It won't go anywhere. It's got an o ring that seals it, so it don't need a whole lot. O ring stuck in there. Get that out of there. There it is. One sensor. There's your Dorman number. It's already got an O-ring and everything on it. So you just slap it in there. A twenty dollar sensor too, it's not a whole lot of money. So it's a cheap and easy fix.
I just need a zip tie. Yeah, it's like these wires are too short or something. There's a little clip for this and it's not long enough. I'll use two for good measure. All right, that's it. Just that easy. That job's done. Now I'm just going to give this wonderful old car the 50 50 guarantee. 50 feet or 50 seconds, whichever comes first. Make sure that speedo works. Check engine lights off. Everything worked when it came in, so everything should be working when it leaves. <laughs> I have speedometer. I have gears. Oh yeah. It's a fix. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs>